Um, and the first word that I really wanted to say was uh, aloha, right? So both, because aloha is such, has such a beautiful meaning to it. And um, I posted the meaning of it on my community tab. And with that being said, I wanna talk about Mary and Martha, the sisters of Lazarus. Um, actually, twins run in my family on both sides. And I actually, my 20 year old is a twin. And it's a spiritual experience that she can tell better than anyone else, but I have no sorrow with it because of how that 20 year old just blessed my life so incredibly. I'm so grateful to God for her um, and my 28 year old. Um, so with that being said, I want to let you all know that those children that were born since like Y2K, like you all should know, they're extremely gifted. And I have a playlist and the playlist is titled, They Know We Have Superpowers. <laughs> so basically, we all should know, like, people give more credit to witchcraft, voodoo, all the, that dark magic when God has his children on the earth and his children moved by his will, not our will, shall be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. So let me get on back to Martha and Mary, which are the names of my great grandmother and my great great aunt so my great grandmother's name was Martha and in this story it said that Martha was cleaning while she was while our Messiah was there speaking with them and Mary was the one gleaning at our Messiah's feet well with my experience which I have to sadly say like I really have my mom I was raised with my mom and my bonus dad since like I was, they've been together since I was three and he's been more beneficial in my life than she has. And you all can look at my last video and last two community tab posts and you'll understand why. So um, he, I would have really good conversations with him, but back to, and he would speak life into me. That's all he did. So it seemed like there's a house, there's there are four children, our two parents in the house, but I would get opportunities to have like one-to-one -one conversations with my bonus dad. And I deeply love him a lot, yet I have a mom that's described like my last video, but my, 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 my latest, my, before this one, and my two community posts. So when I get to talk to my mom um, in the end of last year and up until January 3rd, like that's the first time I've ever known any family history from her, on her side of the family. And one of the things she told me was my great grandmother, who raised me basically in my most foundational years, she based like she breathed the Ruach Hakadesh, like they did in the New Testament when the people started speaking in tongues because our Messiah left the Ruach Hakadesh for us. So she basically breathed the Ruach Hakadesh in my spirit. And my mom told me she used to wear a red string, and my mom was saying she didn't know what that red string means. So. I meditate and I've heard the Bible several times and there and we can never stop learning the, 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 the basics of the 1611 KJV which is includes the Apocrypha like it's like and then iron sharpens iron so we have to continuously teach each other so she told me my great grandmother who raised me basically in my most foundational years from six months old to five years old wore a red string around her arm so with that that means she knew she clearly knew who she is because I speak of them in the present tense because they're resting. I do. So she most likely was the one that was born first, either by exposing her wrist and back when my grandmother, because my great grandmother was born in 1910, back when she was born, um, the midwife most likely put the red string around her hand. However, she was named Martha. And in this case of my great grandmother, she's the one who cleaned at our Messiah's feet. I, I, my grandmother, my great grandmother, I called her grandma. So grandma lived one house away from her sister in Columbus, Georgia. So I knew I, that I called her Aunt Debbie, but her real name was Mary. So I don't know. I, I don't know that part. I don't know why I called her Aunt Debbie when her name was really Mary. Maybe even her middle name was Debbie. So, um, we know that Satan, the dragon, the serpent, is a copycat of the true and living God, 
Abba Yah who created him. So they've misused the meaning of the red wristlet or the scarlet red bracelet in New Age practice. So in a way, I'm kind of like answering my mom's question because I know she watches my channel, but after the last video, I don't know. But anyway, she wondered why my grandmother was wearing a red wristlet, a red string around her wrist. And it's, pro and it's because she was first born, either by way of putting her arm out first and got the wristlet, or she came out first, totally. I don't know which one of them was born first, so it just seems like my great-grandmother, who I called Grandma, was born first, some way or another. Either fully born first, or she stuck her arm out first, and perhaps my great-great-aunt could have come out first, but the first baby to make a presentation was my grandmother, because she was truly gifted, truly gifted. And, she, and, and the primary thing that I remember since I was little, like, I have memory, like six months, like she kept people from the church praying over me. I would be in the middle of the bed and there would be men and women of God praying over me on a regular basis, on a regular basis. I'm sorry. So when my mom got pregnant with me, like my grandmother, she was really good at knowing people were pregnant without them knowing they're pregnant first. Like that's one of her, that's one of her gifts. And so, um, she, 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 she did a good thing with me. She did a really good thing with me because God is pleased. God is very pleased. God is very pleased. So, um, I'm sorry. I didn't know I was going to cry. So with that, I want to just share, you know, a quick lesson about the scarlet red thread or a scarlet red bracelet or a scarlet red bracelet. That's our ancient history. <laughs> so... Please like, share, and subscribe. Sharing is caring. Shalom. <laughs>